Hello Berries and today we will be talking about a very controversial perk on the killer's end. You usually see me uh, like talk about the problems with decisive strike, the problems with object obsession. There's abysmal and con and uh, problematic perks on the survivor's end, but I'm not I'm not gonna deny the fact that the existence of know it, which is in my opinion uh, pro probably could be the most abysmal perk in the game. Um, now, know it is problematic for a few reasons. It gr grants the killer uh, the, the one-shot ability, it gives him 4% speed, and all of that towards the end of the game. The problem with getting the one-shot ability towards the end of the game, it's like... It's like running a... like... a marathon, and your leg breaks just before the finish line. It's, it's, it's such a showstopper, it's like the worst thing that could ever happen to a survivor. Like, you could play amazingly. You could literally loop the killer for uh, five gens without getting injured, only to get uh, smacked once, downed, and then the killer just face camps you on the first hook and you die. I had this instance happen to me a lot. The thing is that Noid is a perk that is accessible to all killers, so for the most part you'll be seeing it a lot on gray ranks and yellow ranks and on green ranks. <coughs> and the, the counter to this perk is very, very questionable because it requires the survivors to destroy not four totems, not three totems, all totems. Mm -hmm. And on a map which is big, on a map which uh, hides totems well, on a map that, like, especially if you're playing with randoms, it's gonna be all but impossible to find all of the totems. I had games like this with my friends where we found uh, four totems where we did all the gens only to, uh, to two of us dying to, or towards the end of the game because of this one perk. And that is very, very shitty. So now that we've addressed the problem, I, I want to, to ask a few uh, rhetorical questions, so to speak, about Noid. One of the questions being, um, first of all, do you really need to add the 4% speed to the killer on top of Noid? I think Noid is a very strong perk on its own, and to add it m more speed to the killer is just is just like pouring gasoline on a fire. It doesn't make any sense. I find it so ridiculous how like the game prompts the killer to get it down by adding speed to, to insta-down. That's so gratuitous in my opinion. So they could easily take down the, that 4% speed and nobody w will bat an eye about it. Everybody can agree on at least removing that aspect. Uh, second of all, Noid will continue standing so long as the Hex exists. And w when does it when people look for Noid, for the most part? People will look for Noid once their teammate has been downed and hooked. So a person is on the hook and you've got 2 minutes until he dies. The killer will probably face camp now that he lost all of his gens, uh, or at the very least proxy camp. And you gotta, in those two minutes, uh, find the Noid, destroy it, and save your teammate efficiently. Noid isn't usually used to, uh, especially in lower ranks, as like a, a perk that requires skill. It's mostly used as like a compensation perk for uh, like you down someone and you keep guarding him to secure that kill. Eh, an, an undeserved kill at that. One thing you can easily get rid of the 4% speed. That That's one thing that you can immediately remove. Second of all, I think that Noed should get cancelled uh, if... Not if... Uh, like... How do you cancel Noed nowadays? You have to destroy all five totems. Uh, so the... Uh, so the Noid won't spawn on any empty totem, right? But sometimes finding all five is is insanely difficult and sometimes impossible without a map on certain maps. Like, uh, the town of uh, Glenvale is able to hide totems insanely well in the most tight crevices and you might not have enough time to take down the Noid before your teammate dies. You. 
um, on Larry's. Larry's also hides totems re uh, relatively well. So, in my opinion, no one should get cancelled. Uh, if if there is like uh, two totems remaining uh, at the end game, then uh, then no one won't be activated. I think no one should only activate if there is like uh, three totems on the trial towards uh, the end of the game. That that way, it'll force survivors to do totems, but not commit them for a wild goose chase towards the end of the game of finding all five five of them. So, your commitment as survivors to prevent Noed will be to destroy uh, three totems, three empty totems. If you as a team finished five gens without ever so doing one single totem, then that's your own fault. And that, that and yes, I think that Noed uh, should punish you in such a case. I mean, if you were like full-blown to try hard on gens and neglected everything, then uh, Noed should bite your ass, in my opinion. Um, but, come on, like, I had plenty of games where I destroyed four totems, haven't found the last one, only to have it down me towards the end of the game, and I was like, seriously? I did three gens, I ran the killer for ages, and uh, I myself destroyed all four totems, o only to, to lose this match? Come on. Come on, man, that's ridiculous. I think no one should activate uh, if there's a set number of uh, empty totems by the end game. I think either two or three is uh, m already much of an uh, of a required nerf to to this abysmal perk. That way, if you, you only need to destroy three totems or four totems uh, to to cancel no, you don't have to get all five of them. Um, I I once also saw like patch notes. I don't know who showed me that that uh, no, it will be a timely thing that it's only gonna work uh, for two minutes. Um, once the end game progs. Now I I don't know like somebody showed me this like a few months back and I still haven't seen that implemented into the game. I I don't know if they may have like uh, uh, ch changed their mind and uh, either way, that's a good nerf, a, a solid nerf. But I don't think that's enough because you have no wood for two minutes, right? Let's say you down someone as the last gen is uh, is finished, right? So now you pick up this uh, the survivor, put him on the hook, and for almost two minutes they can't take him down, and he still dies. Two minutes is how long it takes a person to die on the hook. And I don't think that no one should guarantee any and all kills to the killer. Perks should help the killer. Not uh, guarantee anything. Oh, and for people who are playing uh, Know It nowadays, I've got uh, one thing to say. This kill that you're getting, it doesn't grant you anything. If you look at the emblem system when it comes to ranking or even to blood points you earn from Know It, it usually does not sum up to that much. Because you'll most likely... Uh, if, if you're using Noid out of desperation and not for like an endgame build, you'll most likely down one person, so that's what, 300 hit points, and you'll hook him, which is 500 points, and then he'll die, which is another 200. You've made all in all less than 1000 points for something like that, for, for such a kill. The game will only reward you on one hook, on the uh, sacrificing category. Uh, so... And... You will only uh, get that little points, and really, it's it's not worth a perk slot if you're using it out of desperation. Like I use Noid, for example, uh, like combined with Blood Warden. I use Noid in combination with uh, with Fire Up, so we can do actions uh, towards the end of the game quicker. I might use Noid with uh, the new Trickster perk that is coming out soon. Now, now this is me thinking of an endgame build, but the problem is that people slap on Noed just because of the potency of the perk itself. There is no synergy. I, I don't see much. It is a shame that this perk is like this for like the longest time. Like for years now and behavior is not addressing it. Um, 
So th those are my two suggested nerfs for uh, Noed. Uh, if you guys have any better ideas or something to add to what I've uh, what I've said, uh, please write it down in the comment section below. I want to acknowledge these ideas, and uh, I know it's like I said before, it's a shot in the dark. But if anybody notices these ideas, if if anybody might acknowledge this, they might uh, we might just make a difference. I, I know this might sound cliche, but bear with me, guys. I love this game and I want to see it uh, as balanced as I possibly could hope it to be. So, thank you all so much for watching and for listening especially. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you next time. <coughs>